Okay, guys, so I only have like 25 minutes of video time on here, so I hope that I can get this soap done in that amount of time and to kind of cut my time down. I've already mixed my oils with um, my clays and stuff, so I'm just going to add my lye solution and go from there. I'm doing um, a citrus one. I'm using a little more than I would normally use because I've heard that citrus scents don't really stick. Um, my colors are orange, blue, white, and red to kind of stick with the summery theme. This is for a sample box that I participate in, so let's get this started. I'm in my pajamas, kids are in bed. point I'm going to add my fragrance and my cream just still pretty cold but my um, oils are at room temperature so I shouldn't have an issue All right, so I'm gonna stop there and start sectioning this off normally when I work with a lot of colors I I like to add my fragrance last, just to, whoops, kind of spilled some soap on the floor, but I think I've got a bag there. So I hope you guys can see, I'm like trying different angles for you guys, so you can see what works best. I did film a making video of my yogurt soap, but I had a seriously hard time uploading it, and it would not upload. I couldn't even get the transfer over to my computer. Just got a word. Smell. So I don't know what the issue is with that, but I wasn't able to get that video up for you guys. Alright, now I'm using these bigger ones because I want the, the spouts and I don't have enough measuring cups to do it actually. One. No, I only have two measuring cups and they're not the same size. I guess it really doesn't matter, but I don't have any measuring cups to do what I want to do. So it's got to be this way. I don't make a mess doing this. So I'm going to try to get it as even as I can. So let's do, it should be three ounces. And I've got four things here. So this fragrance is really yellow. So I just hope that I don't have an issue getting my color in any of these. Um, this is my titanium dioxide. I know this is going to need a blast with the stick blender. This is really yellow. So I'm going to go ahead and use all of that. I wouldn't doubt that I get glycerin rivers in this one because it never fails that every time I use titanium dioxide, I get glycerin rivers. So this still doesn't even look white to me, but I do not dare even add more titanium dioxide. Um, yeah. So I don't like the way this fragrance smells. Um, it is citrus something from, uh, shoot, Wholesale Supplies Plus, I think, and I've been, like, going back and forth with this fragrance for the past couple of days, like, trying to think what I can blend it with that'll make it smell a little bit better to me, and I just couldn't think of anything. So it's just going to have to stay the way it is. It's kind of summery-ish. Um, it doesn't smell citrusy to me. It wasn't what I was expecting. 
have when I got it. Definitely not what I was expecting. I was expecting like a real citrus, like a wake me up type of citrus. And that is not the case. I can only get this mica as dark as I want it. I think I, I used about three quarters of a teaspoon. And this is about two to three cups of soap. So, I don't know. I just gotta remember with the glue, I need more. So it looks like it's kind of rising a little bit. But not bad. I'm glad with the colors I chose though because this fragrance is really yellow so I'm glad I didn't decide to do like some kind of pastel. I honestly don't think it even would have worked. I wanted this looks very yellow and I hope it changes because I put a lot of titanium dioxide but it's that fragrance. I've never worked with the citrus, so I honestly don't know if that's the way they all are or if it's the same. But I'll be honest, unless people really like this one, I probably am not going to buy it again. So let's get started with this. Can you see my mold? No, you can't. All right. Had a really hard time lining this mold. I just had a hard time with everything today. I don't know what in the world was going on, but I just could not get my crap together today. if this is how you're supposed to do this. I just assuming and I'm hoping that I'm doing it right and that it comes out the way I want it to if I need it to. I've seen it done a few times but I don't know. This is when you need to bang out a lot. And I also feel like I need to hurry. Well, it seems like it's coming along okay. Not perfect, but decent. I don't know if I'm supposed to be dropping through the layers or if I'm just supposed to continue going on top. So I'm kind of doing both. But we'll see how it turns. I think I should be alternating like the little areas that I'm doing in the middles instead of on the tops. I hate this blue is always like a blue green and I feel like it's a lot worse this time with the um, fragrance being so yellow and I hate that. like a really awesome blue so if you guys have suggestions I'm open to them okay I know I can hear you guys already in the other end where's your gloves you should be wearing gloves I know that um I have a hard time finding gloves that fit me and because of that I can't really work with gloves that don't fit. They slip off and I can't add on to things and it just makes the whole soap making process a lot worse. I miss, you know, end up mismeasuring, uh, you know, 
what the what I want to do with it and things just don't turn out right. I've I think I've worn gloves in one or two of my videos. But um, I just can never find any that fit. Uh, it's always one size fits all and I don't like that. I have really small hands. Uh, when I used to work at the hospital, they used to special order the extra small gloves over there. And then of course it's the vinyl gloves because you've got so many people with latex allergies these days that, you know, you gotta use the vinyl. This is a really pretty orange. Mm, like in this color, I don't think color combination is exactly what I wanted, but always get what you want. That's funny because I'm right-handed and I'm having a hard time pouring with my right hand. This is what I want to do here. If I can manage it. You know. Ah. Okay. I don't think I'm going to leave the top rough like that. Um, probably swirl it. a light swirl. I'm not going to do any texture um, just because I don't know why actually. I'm just not. Um, I actually did notice that when I texture my tops um, my bars weigh like significantly different from each other. And kind of makes it hard to keep all my bars uniform and to keep, you know, labeling the way it should be. And when I do the peaks and stuff, I just get so really varying weights and I end up having to make separate labels. Um... Just because I don't want to, you know, say, oh, it's a minimum size of four ounces and, you know, it's six ounces because of the varying sizes of the bars. And, yeah. So, I just want them to know exactly, you know, what kind of bar they're getting. A lot of people, I know when I'm buying a bar, if it's a six, seven dollar bar, I want to know how... Uh, exactly how much it weighs. If it says minimum weight of four ounces, then I'm kind of thinking, oh, well, if it's four ounces, I don't want to pay this much, and then you got to change your prices, and blah, blah, blah. So that's what it looks like, and we'll see you guys later.